Yup. It's silhouettes of people that were used to be here in the bus. I followed her gaze and realized that the bus was full of people. All of them were wearing pioneer uniforms, and they all look exactly like that pioneer. Oh, they all. But I'm pretty sure that one, like, uh, like this one, this is Miku, right? This is definitely Miku. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with it. It's all the pioneer. Just use your imagination. Nobody said a single word. They just looked silently in my direction. I could not see their faces. Closed statues, yes. But their faces were shrouded in gosh darn music. You're very, like, you know, taking my mind off things. That seemed to appear from nowhere. If it was, it was as if, instead of the heads that known people have, they had many black holes. It's corpse party now. So many things! I started to shiver and my back broke out in goosebumps. You, know, you squeezed my hand. With an enormous effort, I forced myself to look at her. She was very scared too. If I was alone at that moment, I would have probably fainted. But right now, I was responsible for more than only my own life. Who are you? I gritted out with difficulty. The pioneers maintained its terrifying silence. It became hard to breathe. I was gasping for breath. Breath? Breath. But my brain refused to work on low auction and I lost consciousness for a moment. Racism? Oh my gosh! She appeared and she's pretty angry. But yeah, there should be white and black silhouettes. Those guys. Who are you? What do you want? I heard Yoyo shout as I regained my senses. The pioneers stood up from the first seat and walked towards us. It's gonna be me, isn't it? It's me! Hey! We have decided to go back home to Tutu? What? So so this is gonna be the ending, isn't it? We're all going home. Okay, well uh You're all out, let's go home. Chorus of voices for the bus. We'll keep you company. Oh. If by my other theory that all these people are other forum people posters, they're going to keep me in the forum. I don't know why Yoya is fighting them then, because I also, by the theory, Yoya is apart with the with the forum and doesn't want me to leave. I don't know. So in my mind, both of these people are trying to stop me from leaving. I don't know if that's correct though. I don't know what to say. That was the strangest situation I had experienced yet in this camp. Neither Yoya nor the city nor the disappearance of the pioneers nor the strange person standing before me. Are comparable with this? I asked you a question. It seems like Yoya was still able to speak clearly. Not a surprise, in the end she was still, you could say, an extraordinary being. I repeat, we are just going home. His voice sounded frantic. Are we bothering you? Yeah, yeah bothering, bothering. What do you want from us? Nothing. At all. Nothing, nothing. I don't believe you. I don't think there was a reason for you to be doing all this! It's just your imagination, animal! Maybe I am an animal. What are you, a ghost shadow? Maybe. Ghosts have their rights too, you know. You have the right to get the heck out of here! You just shouted so loud that my ears rang, but neither the pioneer nor his companions reacted. I guess we'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing they heeded her advice, then. He said maliciously. But how did you manage this and all the others? At last, I gathered the strength to speak. It's simple, my dear friend. Collective mind. Heard about it? And so? Every one of us wanted to wish you luck simultaneously. That's all. Luck, luck. Luck. In person, I would say, that's the reason we are here. But what will happen next? Honestly... I don't know! Get out! Here you shout it again, oh. GET OUT! Is that better? Probably. Be cool. Settle down! You little rascal. You see? He addressed me again. I don't want to hide anything from you. There is a big paragraph here, so I'm gonna have to read it for a long time. But I don't want to hide anything from you. You have a good chance to get out of here now. I don't exactly know why, but your actions broke the cycle. Cycles, to be precise. All of our cycles. 
and there's a chance that we won't have to leave the camp every seven days and return back on the 8th, waking up in this bus. Then don't return! DIE! It's not that simple! And why shouldn't we have a sense of self-preservation? We should, right? He asked the pioneers. Should, should. I heard the response. So we decide to keep you company. Now, either we get all out of here together or we'll vanish together forever. <laughs> well, that's terrible! So, either it works or we're, or we're all gone. Just poof! That's just amazing, you know? That's just great. We're still in the cycle. And eh, just whatever suits us. And what if we die because of you? Well, you won't die alone. You'll die in honor. Honor, honor. Or, do you think that our lives... He laughed. Well, what we call lives... Lives, lives. Are they not as important as yours? No. I would, well... If you are the other foreign people and you want to leave, it would still make sense why Yulia wants you not to leave. Well, the thing is that you're going to kill me if you don't leave! <laughs> We're just... Poof! Just gone. Oh, dear. But you, you, you didn't know the answer. And I don't think that any of us are here. In fact, many of us more didn't fit in. But there were enough tickets for everyone. You, you. Oh, it's actually you, you this time. It's you. You? No, you fist. It's too late. I suggest you calm down and enjoy the flight. Stewardesses will offer you food and drinks in a couple of minutes. He grinned and went back to his place. Yulia jumped up, but I stopped her. Let me go, I'll take him down. No need, what can you do to him? What good will it do? She looked at me in surprise, but sat down. So what, are you suggesting that we don't do anything and just wait? Well, um... Yeah. We don't have anything else we can do! What can we do? I don't know, but we shouldn't just be sitting, you know? I have learned one thing for sure in this camp. Very little is up to me. Actually, nothing at all. Especially now. Especially here. I have not the slightest idea what to do to drive them out of here. But even if I knew, I'm sure that nothing would change. Nothing would affect the final outcome. Isn't that exactly what Yolia said, like, earlier? Yeah. Maybe right. Yolia said in a sad voice. We can only wait, then. It won't take long, probably. She put her head on my shoulder. Okay, the, the heavy music is done now. We have been going for such a long time, it seemed like an eternity. The sun had set and night fell. Seconds lasted for hours, minutes for years. That's a long time. The pioneer remained dead silent, even that one, the arrogant one didn't try to start a conversation. The sounds was louder than any shouts. The quiet clap would be enough to make my eardrums explode. Me and Yulia stayed silent too. Everything had been said today and there were no words left. I felt totally empty. It was as heavy as lead and it seemed that I was already dead. That rhymed. But God and the devil had just forgotten about me, so I wouldn't have to spend the rest of the tourney alone with the silent mass of pioneers. Are they really my colleagues in misfortune? Did they really come to this camp too, spend a week here and then leave? And then do it all over again? Maybe it would be the same for me as the pioneer said. Anything is possible. Yeah! Anything is possible now, especially because there's a bunch of people surrounding me in black silhouettes. Okay, some sort of weird music is back again, so something bad happened. I heard a quiet snoring from Yulia as she'd fallen asleep. Are you gonna wake her up? You should punch her in the face like she did to you. Anyways, all that stress must have gotten too much for her. Well, maybe she used up all her energy shouting. In any case, it's better to face the end while sleeping. Now, I was absolutely certain that this was the end. It's the end of the camp as we know it. This is the end. And I feel stupid to cling to the hope while standing on the edge of the cliff, surrounded by countless enemies. And even if there was a smallest chance of rescue, you wouldn't really think about it. 
Maybe you shouldn't be this way and someone else would have more optimism in my place. Let's have it take the first step. Why though? There are not stairs, but an escalator it will get me to the finish in any case. Did I fall asleep too? Yeah, he did. I fell asleep. I don't know whether it will last for an hour or an eternity. I'm gonna wake up in my room, aren't I? Oh, it's... okay. Um, empty is not the best place for thoughts. I'm gonna take a little break here. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave a little pause so I'll be able to know that this is here in editing. Okay, so, um, hey there, wise world. Um, this game is a visual novel. You probably don't understand a single thing that's going on right now. Uh, because, you know, there's a lot of confusing things. So I have a, a YouTube playlist on, of course, YouTube, where you can watch the thing. Uh, though it's a little bit far behind. It's like an entire route, which is basically like five hours behind by now, maybe more. Uh, but for the most part, there's like 50 episodes you can catch up on. Uh, if you want to uh, feel so inclined to do so. But anyways, yeah, basically what Matt just said, it's that. It's, it's actually pretty good. I'm about to finish it as well. It's cool. My voice is also hurting me because I've been speaking into uh, a microphone for the last, like, hour and a half. Yeah, but you know, the game must end eventually. I'm gonna start back up now. Only I know what's going on, apparently. Emptiness is not the best place for thoughts. When there is nothing, the essence of the normal world disappears. In the end, thoughts are a part of it too, just an immaterial one. It is difficult to imagine where existence ends. A person is not supposed to figure it out. Is that me? Probably. Um, I regain consciousness in complete darkness, to be precise. I regain the ability to perceive myself as a person. There's nothing else, neither around nor inside me. It was like I ceased to exist, was erased from the universe, but wasn't dead, no. It was totally different, it was a move from three-dimensional space to one-dimensional. The whole world compressed its size to one dot. So, the idea that I just went poof and gone, just happened. <laughs> Well, I, I'm not sure what I feel about that, but apparently I feel like a dot. The dot was me, was everything. And was everything at the same time was nothing. I am an entity. However, my consciousness, my memories, my soul went into that tiny patch too. I wasn't afraid. Maybe because there was no need, maybe because I still couldn't understand what was happening. All sense of time was lost here. There was simply no such term here. That's why it was impossible to tell how long I had been in the emptiness. Finally, after an hour or a year, I started to hear a quiet voice. I couldn't make out the words. But I was the one who spoke it to. Spoke to. Oh, actually, it was no one else. Oh, Samyon. Samyon. Please be Yolia. Yes? I replied as if answering to a phone. Nice to meet you. The sound was voicey and close. We've known each other for a long time, though. Who are you? I am you. Did I die? No, no, nothing like that. The voice sounded calm as if speaking to an old friend. What's happening to me? You have reached the end of your path? What? Okay, I have reached the end of my path, then. What path? You managed to leave the camp, and apparently leaving the camp entails me being trapped in purgatory as a dot forever. Ah, camp, yes, I remember. The Sovenog Pioneer Camp. Suddenly I remembered the last seven days. I remembered I was leaving together with Yulia. Yes, because after a year of sitting in purgatory with nothing, I can remember Yulia just like yesterday. Cool. Where is... Yulia? Yeah. She's right here. 
I looked around, but there was no... There's only emptiness around. I don't see you. You shouldn't see. You should feel. I wasn't tense at all, as if I was recovering from anesthesia. I don't feel. Only conceal. You just have to remember. After these words, thousands of pictures, holy crap, that's a big paragraph. Thousands of pictures, images, smells, thoughts reappeared in my mind. The camp! I was there for real, with Slavia and Lana, with Lissa, Juliana and Masha, but then, pow! I clearly remember that I left it and became back to the real world. And then I met Slavia at the bus stop. No, I met Jan at the university. No, I met Alyssa at a concert. But I lived in Lana with so many years. No, I had a completely different life with Masha. How was that all even possible? I remember the events of almost five lifespans in the smallest of details. But everything happened simultaneously. And am I assured that it was real? I know it was real, because I've experienced that. How? Yeah, all that really happened to you. But how? You left the camp, not just once. You lived your normal life, but then you came back and left again. What? You left the camp, not once. Then you lived your normal life. And you came back and left again. So, basically, Semyon is some sort of god that, like, Okay, I'm gonna live my life. Oh, I'm not dead. Let's just reverse back to camp. And let's try a different route. And when I get to the end of that, let's just try a different girl. And now I'm here, stuck in purgatory, because I don't die, apparently. So it was like I died and was revived? No, you can think that it all happened simultaneously. I don't understand. You don't need to. And who are those pioneers? They are you, too. Huh? The other sides of you. I don't understand. Every person is an endless universe. His own actions determine how his life will proceed. You remember those five times because those are times that took choices that lead you out of the camp. Your other replicas acted differently somewhere and that's it. It's all that simple. For me, it wasn't that simple. And what is this camp? You can consider it a testing ground. And who are you? I am you, but from a long time after, not time as you see it. I'm beyond and all above you. You can consider me as the Prime Semyon. Wait, I'm not as Prime Semyon? Aw oh, man, that's a bummer. Usually in games like these, I am the Prime one, but apparently not. So you are the reason for all this? That's not exactly true. Everything did not happen according to my will, but I can control these events. But why? Are you against it? I lost myself in thought, at least not... I was at least lost... At least as lost as was possible in such an obscure state as mine. I don't know. If you were given an option now, when you know and remember everything, would you really decide to take it back to the start and just forget everything? I don't know. Of course not. I would never decide to forget anything. I wasn't ready to... I wasn't ready to answer such a difficult question. Anyway, where is Yolia? She's right here. Guess tell, tell me where she is! Where? In... Wow. She's inside... I knew it! Yolia is my subconscious! Woo! How's that? Yes! Woo! 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 Yes! I did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, that is great! Oh my... Guys, you need to give me some sort of clapping. That was amazing. I am a genius. I figured it out. She was my consciousness all along. I had sex with myself, my inner self. With my consciousness. <sighs> okay, well, anyways, let's continue on. I couldn't comprehend his words. You don't need to try to understand, I already said. I, I literally screwed my own brain? I realized that, but I'm happy I realized before the game told me it. <laughs> but, but, I thought that I missed her. Don't be afraid, she'll always be with you. I don't think I went into exact union just yesterday. The hardest thing is to make inner peace, not peace with an enemy, and you have done it. If you want to love her, 
You have to learn how to love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. So, basically, this whole thing is based around forums and how I need to learn to love myself. And realize I need to go get a life. I believe. Hmm. Well, that's enough for you. It's time for me to leave. Wait, what happened to me? I'll go back. I already didn't understand what was real and what was not, or how many realities there are. Why too? It only depends on you. I don't understand. You have remembered all possible variations of the events now. You paused for a long time and I didn't dare to say anything, just so I wouldn't accidentally interrupt him. So, you have at least five options. Oh. Holy crap, I have to choose one out of five! Wow, will I remember all this? It's up to you to decide. A trace of emotion appeared in his voice for a moment. Maybe a joy, maybe a satisfaction, dissatisfaction. Farewell. But, I can feel that the voice will never speak to me again. I did... I'm pretty sure I do not have a penis, according to the CG. But I don't know. Who knows what people look like in limbo? Time passed. I tried to decide what to do next. If everything is as he said, then I just have to wish. By that time, I had completely calmed down. You could even say cheered up a bit. I was totally sure that I got out of that enchanted camp. Moreover, a bright future awaited me. I didn't know it. I remembered it. But what should I choose? Do I have a choice? Do I have to choose between five girls or choosing between remembering my memory or not? Probably. That would be that would be a great choice though. That would be amazing. I closed my eyes and clearly imagined Slavia smiling at me. She was always willing to help me and never scold me for anything. It was always calm and safe being with her. And that meeting at the bus stop. I guess I never really thought about being with her in real life, but that would be amazing I'm sure. For so many years, Lana had grown truly precious to me. I actually remembered all that time spent with her. Remembered our kids, remember our times of joy and sorrow. Remember everything, it's hard to reject all that. Or well, Alyssa, dearly hugging her guitar? It's never boring with her. I Maybe mean, that's the life I always dreamed of. Simply laid back and fun. Maybe that's a girl I ever wished for. A loyal tomboy. Alyssa's image in my thoughts smiled slyly. But growing up, Oyana well, yeah, seemed like a good op option too. Of course, back in the camp, I didn't treat her as a woman, but now... Obviously, she's got her cons, but at the same time, there's a sense of magic in her, something attractive. And of course, Miku. Marshal from the other life. She was truly precious to me. Maybe back there, the camp is a small episode, and I might be a completely different person for myself and all other paths. That's for the best. New opportunities, possibilities, and that person I love. For a person who seemingly knew my entire life. But it's a sad that we'll never see Yoya again. Because I am Yoya. Oh, pfft. Okay, never mind. You certainly will, says Yoya. Her voice sounded in my head. Why, <laughs> where are you? I am right here, like you said. You knew? No, I, I understood it only when he came here. Are you okay with it? Won't you miss me? Of course not. I'll always be with you. This is weird. How am I... Basically, I'm talking to myself. Do you remember your promise? What promise? The, the stash? Oh, okay, that, that, did you always be with me? Yeah. Don't ever think to break it, I'll be watching you. I don't know if I'll ever speak to her again like that. Maybe only one could simply go nuts from that, but right now I was happy. Alright. I won't forget. Then you just have to make a choice. I felt Yuli disappear, vanishing in the labyrinth of my hand. Oh, mind. <laughs> I was reading chat and... Yeah, you don't want to know what chat was saying. Well, it's time. I closed my eyes tight and... My eyes were struck by the bright sunlight. 
apparently. Not surprised about that. It's summer after all. Summer? It's summer? I woke up in summer? Oh, this is the summer camp, isn't it? I'm in, I'm, I'm in Sovenok, aren't I? It's a strange dream again, gosh darn it. I thought it was in the actual world. Why did I start seeing it so often recently? Maybe there's- Oh, this is reality! Maybe there's a reason! Still, why? Pioneer camp, some girls, the camp leader? I've never been to the camp. Maybe you just don't remember. What a funny. But what if? Trust me, I clearly remember everything that's happened to me since I was three years old. Before, I was probably an unconscious age. Even if that is true, all of this is non-accidental. Why is it non-accidental? The people will see a black cat in their dreams every night and nothing happens. Did you just make that up? I haven't made up anything. I had read, read about it recent, re recently. A black cat is one thing, so that's a detailed dream is something else. I don't see much of a difference. Okay. Then what would you say about that voice? What voice? Don't play the fool. I wasn't planning to. It told you to make a choice. Well, uh, a voice, so what? There was a reason. I don't remember anything else. The dream ends there. Maybe you forget it when you wake up. Maybe, but... But what? That means you actually made a choice. Oh. Yeah. He made the wrong choice. I would have chosen to keep my memory. Well, actually... Who? Who? No. I understand now. Uh, he needs to forget his memory, because in order to move on from the forms and the life of on the internet, apparently this game says you need to forget about it, and move on. You can't keep remembering about it, otherwise you keep going back to it. But if you forget it, you move on. Well, I don't even remember the options, though. Were there any? There should have been. You don't even try to be serious about important things, as always. Oh god, it's so important! There's no point in talking to you. Is he talking to himself? Recently, I started to notice they have something like split personality. <laughs> cool. It's like Deadpool, but a Semyon version. Semyon and Yoya version. My inner monologue is certainly a normal phenomenon for any person, but when it turns out into a dialogue, well, it's uh, still a long way from being a clinical case, because I talk to myself, not another personality inside my head. Maybe with my own subconscious. However, that is not important. Oh no! <laughs> oh crap, you only just an answer! Oh wow! What do I do? Oh, I knew this choice would come. What do I do? What do I do? I gotta save. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. It's so hard. I gotta think this over now. Okay. So I gotta go over each girl, right? Probably. So, Yoya, of course, we know who she is. He's basically inside my mind right now. I don't know how I'd find her. That'd be pretty weird. Unless I... That's basically choosing myself, right? Because even my, my other voice said that there's only five girls to choose from. So basically choosing Yoyo would be choosing my alternate personality or staying with myself. But anyway, Slavia is the, like, uh, the calm, level-headed, normal girl, right? Probably. She, I don't know. I didn't really like Slavia that much. She was just majestic and stuff. But Alyssa's pretty cool. I like Alyssa. She's like the rocking, like, uh, never, you know, she's like a bad girl, kind of. Although Lena is like the shy. I actually like Lena. Uh, so these routes are gonna move out just the way they did when I went down the routes, right? Like, originally. But I don't know how Masha would turn out then, because, like, we didn't have an actual wake up scene it was just kind of like you know the movie stuff and i woke up and it was the end that's weird uh but oyana of course would be like i wake up and see someone in the college area hmm this is a hard choice <sighs> screw
screw it. Let's pick you later. Did I just turn into a girl? I, like, I realize that, um, I can't be, like, I can't date Yoya because she is me, but apparently I just decided to become a girl. <laughs> I guess that if you can't choose between the girls you want to date, just become a girl. Turn over to the other side, though. The bright sun still shines into my eyes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, I replied. Choice. Did I even have a choice? So, I let Yoya live her life, right? So I let Yoya live her life, and in return, I became her subconscious. Okay. Question mark end? What does that even mean? What does that mean? 